What up guys over here at DNA Slithers and Critters. Just kind of doing the big snake cages. Thought I would uh, indulge you. There may be poop, there may be whatever, but this is, you know, every other day we're going in unless we see like a spill from the waters, then we go in right away. Um, sorry you can't see me because I wanted you to have a good view. So I'm just going to work and you're going to see some cool animals. How's that sound? I don't know if you guys want to see these kind of videos or not. If you do, hit the like button so I know that you guys want to definitely keep seeing more of these. Um, you know, t typically I do these with uh, two people, um, but my snakes are pretty calm right now. So I don't really feel the need. Of course, you know, these are big animals and you do want to play precaution. So know the snake's personality, know what you're dealing with here. Um, luckily, I've never been struck at by any of the ones I'm handling. Um, there is this big girl up here in this top cage. I just posted a picture on Facebook and Instagram, so if you guys want to see her, um, you can. She's my hogs. She's the only one I won't handle alone. Sorry, I'm going to tuck this cord inside. She's the only one I won't handle. She's the only one I'll handle with supervision um, every time, just because I don't trust her. This girl just got a nice meal a couple days ago, so she's looking really plump. This is my platinum, um, platinum golden child. She hopefully will be able to breed next year. I feed her about every two weeks. Always make sure you lock the doors. Last thing you need is your friends walking through your snake room to go wash some clothes and you got a loose snake in there. So next one, I'm gonna adjust it so you can see him better. Um, that is my male green anaconda. I'm not 100% sure if we're gonna breed this year just because she passed slugs. I wanna make sure she's up to weight. You know, obviously, animals health over the wealth. That's my motto. I definitely care about these animals more than anything. This is not my primary source of income. I would consider it more of a, a large scale hobby as we do have several different animals here. Of course, you gotta love that bedding coming out. Now what's crazy, and you gotta watch out with these green anacondas, or anacondas in general, the way their eyes are positioned, it gives them 360 view of their cage or of their total surroundings. And that actually will allow them to legitly strike back if you wanted to. All right, buddy. But again, these animals I've built a trust for. So I don't, I don't get too worried about it. Look how short my shorts are. Jeez. My wife's Crocs, my uh, little brother's shorts might as well be. So we got him in the tub now. Now we're going to get in there and do some cleaning. Change the water. Make sure the humidity level is appropriate. With anacondas, you want to make sure the bedding's dries out completely but it also gets a spike throughout the day that's important this water is not bad but the thing is with um, anacondas they actually will continue to defecate throughout their digestion not just all at once like some retics and stuff do so so now that I see the beddings wet underneath here I'm gonna mix that around with some of the dry bedding and that way I don't get any milled mold or mildew buildup. And if it's really soaked, I'll actually move the water tub to the other side of the cage just because then this side can dry out. Main thing is with these, you don't want the water getting cold. It's not good for them. They can actually get sick by sitting in cold water. So what animal do you guys like to want to see more of what animals are you guys doing 
I'm always excited to, to network and build relationships with you guys. So hopefully you like these videos. We'll start doing more and more content as we progress. Our knit niche, as it's called, pronounced, I guess the proper term, um, that would be breeding feeders, really. We started with 40 ball pythons and then we slowly progressed and got into crested geckos, we had turtles, we had um, all sorts of animals. Man, if you go in the history book of the Facebook page, you'll see all sorts of stuff. It was a fun experience, but it just got hard to find good food and that's why we started breeding and that's why our flagship item is the rat. Because you don't need a reptile to feed a reptile unless you got like a king snake or something. So now this is a cold bucket of water. But what I'll do is gauge the temp, even pull out my temp gun sometimes um, and temp the enclosures. You know, with winter time, you get drafts and stuff inside of the enclosures. Do apologize about that about that guys i run a business on the phone which is also my youtube recording device until i can get an upload cable for my camera so bear with me i'm gonna put this mail back and then i actually have to head over to the store as this is locations different from that feeder location obviously with that many reptiles you don't want to um you don't want to have your animal smelling that all the time he is just such a beautiful boy. Can I move the tub? I guess. And this guy, once he figures out he's been out, he doesn't want to come back in. Of course, I have this one coming right before the customer. You little turd. All right, now I can shove him in there with the, out the water tub getting spilled. Yes, I know, you wanna come out and hang out. As that's Greeny, our big male green anaconda. So guys, I'll be back, I'm gonna do a, uh, a sale real quick for a pet rat. Like I said, our rat niche is the rats, so I will be back shortly and we'll get on to cleaning the big green anacondas. As you can tell, it's hot down here, so if I look like I'm sweating, it's because I am. Peace and love, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. What up, guys? Back in it. Just got done adopting out two pet rats, a Merle, and it, the other one was a Ribbon Blaze. Um, those are really cool. The ribbon blades were actually posted on another video in a different link. I'll post it in the bottom. You guys will be able to see it. Um, it's cool. They're coming up soon. I'll have some parents and one that I know makes them a female that some of them came from. So I'm excited. Um, it wasn't in there too long, so I don't have to worry about showering. get into it all right guys I already took care of her in the post if you haven't seen her she's on the Instagram page I just posted her she's the hog Is that your face busted up? I can't tell. One thing that sucks about these snakes and dealing with them is they have such an incredible food response oftentimes. Um, they'll push. And this guy had his previous family um, was a pusher and actually came to me with a broken face. Nope, just some dirt. 
I'm excited. That makes me happy. You never know with these guys. That's one of the most common things is a uh, face injury. Calm down, buddy. Hold on. Let me position the camera so they can see you better. There you go, guys. Now you can see this cage better. This is my male, man, I get these two mixed up, um, just because they're the project I'm working on. Um, he is a golden child purple sunfire, and she is a sun tiger. Look at him, he says you kind of smell different, Dad. That would normally come down here looking like that. He has such a beautiful pattern. I think she's getting ready to shed. She's been eating. She did refuse the rat, which is her favorite food, um, just the other day. So hopefully they end up those locks that we posted um, previous in the season. Hopefully we paired them up, up enough to where that we'll have some... Uh, eggs this season I already got my incubator ready we're actually working on a room a incubation room that way we don't have to um, do that because most of our species of animals are the reticulated pythons um, as we continue to get another species I have a few backup incubators One thing I always check is the temperature of this water. I don't want to give them too cold of water. Too cold of water can be bad. Look at them just hanging out. I gotta clean that blood off that cage. Of course, I don't always get to it in time. I Sometimes it dries just because when they're feeding response, I don't want to worry about dropping a cage just to clean um, as they're crazy. Like this girl, she could easily wrap me up and with it oftentimes just being me and my wife upstairs, I don't want to have to yell and scream for my wife while she comes down and helps me. I'd rather just wait until I'm in a situation like this where they can clearly know that it's not time to eat, it's time to get some clean water for them to drink for antiseptic we use Listerine original um, back in the war that was actually used and then they coined changed it so I figured if it's good enough for our men in the military back in the day to clean wounds it's good enough for these retics of mine if you're a military, a first responder, um, if you're a teacher, if you are a student, we offer discounts. 10% off for the life of a customer with us. Um, bounty hunters, all that. You guys put your life on the line. It's the least we can do is offer you a discount. Uh, that's one thing I don't like about this front of the cage. It's really hard to get this monster cage clean. I like them, but I wish they would do glass doors. Uh, just because of the reason the acrylic bows. And when I mean bows, guys, I'll show you. It's, it's pretty bad. Let me grab this camera real quick and I'll show you. Look at this gap in the green anaconda's cage. Now these snakes can't get out, but it almost becomes a pain. I don't know if that's due to them not wanting to slide easy from it being stacked so heavily with these big snakes and the cages, um, but I know the warping's due to the hu excessive humidity um, from that. that happened.
happened, I noticed it started warping. That was like within the first, um, that was within the first week of having this cage. I got them used, keep in mind. So I don't know the exact condition in which they were kept. I mean, this is part of being a snake owner. You're gonna have messes that suck to clean up, but you gotta do it. I don't hide it, you know, we all know what happens. I always say, what, just things are gonna happen in your life and how you react to them to find you. Well, I gotta poop in a cage, I gotta clean it. Cause that's what defines a good snake keeper. gonna drop this side let me get you over here so you can see it better I'm gonna drop this side over here wish the iPhone had zoom when you're looking at it so I can you know when you're looking at it, you're doing the selfie side that would be nice Well, while we're in Rome, huh? Forgot to do yours, I'm sorry. Now you're going to come over here. <coughs> Under the golden child, the hat, 100% white. Well, that was fun. Let's never do that one again. I went to grab the hose and freaking pulled the camera over. Luckily, this phone's already seen better days, so we uh, are still rocking and rolling, recording. Look at these two over here now. They're just all about that humidity life. My male is just grooving and moving. We feed often here. Um, up to a four day interval depends on you know how small the animal is I like to feed my retics frequent small meals rather than large big meals depending on this the size though um, I will feed my baby or my bigger girl I feed her every like two weeks or something like that I have to check my repti scan repti scan guys if you're not familiar with it it works really great um, tracks all your information needed. So this girl is a little sassy. What are you doing? I don't even have my snake hook in my hand. So I'm just going to keep her head away from me as I'm doing this. That way it can ensure that I don't have to deal with the female getting mad, striking at me. Drop this down a little bit for you guys so you can see it better. Bear with me. There we go. And we're back. All right. That's a better view for you guys to see her. She's really dark. 
so it is kind of hard to see her so what i'll do is i'll just make sure her head's not looking at me um you know just better safe than sorry um looks like she pooped back here so we're gonna spot clean and when it starts getting loose on the low on the bedding i'll toss some fresh bedding in, in over in that area um just to keep things going good always watching her while i'm doing this you know you don't want to turn your back on them because in a blink of an eye they are a pre apex predator and they can do some serious damage this girl she's about i want to say nine or ten feet kind of generous we'll have to do a video of us majoring our snakes here soon huh uh, well, i'm thinking of it almost forgot no see now look at her She's starting a defensive posture. There we go. So as you see, she's starting to get that curl okay she's going away i was just about to head bopper let her know hey i don't want to play that game today i got racks at the shop to clean she's pretty though i really enjoy her so now i'm just wiping that area or she pooped. Go get some fresh bedding. Go get some fresh bedding right now. Toss it in there. Um, we do sell this at our shop locally if you need it it's pretty good product it's aspen we are working on a better deal right now it's 20 bucks for four cubic feet Her cage is all good to go, all except for that water. Now she's completely off camera. She says, to heck with you guys, I'm out of here. Making me move the camera again. Almost dropping the battery pack again. Got that cord down, of course. There we go. That's better.
now she's all set up just gotta clean this windows and the outside of the cage Everything is heated in here with ambient temperature. We do like using that. This is why you can see me sweating in these videos oftentimes because it's 80 degrees in here. There is a bunch of animals just depending on it, depending on the species though, like carpets, anacondas, and then anyone that's breeding, I have the ambient or the heat just bumped a few degrees up to 86 that way that i know she's getting proper regulation um nothing's gonna happen with the eggs that's big for me you know you can't can't go all the way to the home final game of the season and then not be ready um my viper boas my tagus monitors obviously um, Viper boas are running around 100 degrees on the hot side, which I don't know. The more I think about it, guys, um, I feel like that's too hot for them. They say it's not, but is it really 100 degrees in the ground? That's what I'm wondering. So I've been trying to do some more reading and research on that. Ordered a couple books that should be here soon. Not darn blood stains though guys sometimes they do just not come clean well that was fun let's never do that one again I went to grab the hose and freaking pulled the camera over luckily this phone's already seen better days so we uh, are still rocking and rolling recording look at these two over here now they're just all about that humidity life. My male is just grooving and moving. We feed often here, um, up to a four day interval. Depends on, you know, how small the animal is. I like to feed my retics frequent small meals rather than large big meals, depending on the, sp the size though. Um, I will feed my baby or my bigger girl. I feed her every like two weeks or something like that. I'd have to check my Repti scan. Repti scan, guys, if you're not familiar with it, it works really great. Um, tracks all your information needed. So this girl is a little sassy. What are you doing? I don't even have my snake hook in my hand. So I'm just going to keep her head away from me as I'm doing this. That way it can ensure that I don't have to deal with the female getting mad, striking at me. Drop this down a little bit for you guys so you can see it better. Bear with me. There we go, and we're back. All right, that's a better view for you guys to see her. She's really dark, so it is kind of hard to see her. So what I'll do is I'll just make sure her head's not looking at me. Um, you know, just, just better safe than sorry. Uh, looks like she pooped back here. So we're gonna spot clean, and when it starts getting loose on the low on the bedding, I'll toss some fresh bedding in, in over in that area. Um, just to keep things going good. Oh, we 
always watching her while I'm doing this. You know, you don't want to turn your back on them. Because in a blink of an eye, they are a pre apex predator. And they can do some serious damage. This girl, she's about, I want to say, 9 or 10 feet. Kind of generous. We'll have to do a video of us majoring our snakes here soon, huh? Oh, I'm thinking of it. Almost forgot. No? See? Now look at her. She's starting a defensive posture. There we go. So as you see, she's starting to get that curl. Okay, she's going away. I was just about to head bopper. Let her know, hey, I don't wanna play that game today. I got racks at the shop to clean. She's pretty though. I really enjoy her. So now I'm just wiping that area. Or she pooped. Go get some fresh bedding. Go get some fresh bedding right now. Toss it in there. Um, we do sell this at our shop locally if you need it. It's a pretty good product. It's Aspen. We are working on a better deal right now. It's 20 bucks for four cubic feet. Her cage is all good to go, all except for that water. Now she's completely off camera. She says, to heck with you guys, I'm out of here. Making me move the camera again. Almost dropping the battery pack again. Got that cord down, of course. There we go. That's better. Now she's all set up, just got to clean the windows and the outside of the cage.
Everything is heated in here with ambient temperature. We do like using that. This is why you can see me sweating in these videos oftentimes because it's 80 degrees in here. There is a bunch of animals just depending on it, depending on the species though, like carpets, anacondas, and then anyone that's breeding, I have the ambient or the heat just bumped a few degrees up to 86. That way that I know she's getting proper regulation. Um, nothing's gonna happen with the eggs. That's big for me, you know, you can't can't go all the way to the home final game of the season and then not be ready. Um, my Viper Boas, my Tagus monitors obviously. Um, Viper Boas are running around 100 degrees on the hot side. Which I don't know the more I think about it guys um, I feel like that's too hot for them. They say it's not but is it really a hundred degrees in the ground? That's what I'm wondering So I've been trying to do some more reading and research on that ordered a couple books that should be here soon Not darn blood stains though guys sometimes they do just not come clean all right guys got the camera set up so you can see this lovely girl of course got to give her a good display who cares about me and my short shorts I'm ready to feel like I'm ready to go run track or something with how short these are I don't know the older generation would know back in the day they uh, shorts are really short for track so I've noticed about two weeks you get out of this and then you're gonna have to start changing it. Um, otherwise it does start to mold. Of course you gotta keep it really humid in here for her. We run uh, room humidifiers though too, so we have that going. All right girl, let's get you out. Now, a snake like this, guys, you gotta really be careful with. You gotta respect it and know that it is an apex predator oh man you can't see her on the ground let me uh adjust that better so you can there you go that's better i apologize again the joys of being a solo camera artist now as you can see mine's really calm some are really mean i love this girl I mean, look at her. She just took 16 pounds of rabbit down earlier this week. Now she's enjoying some fresh bedding. Just give you an idea. Guys, it's just, it's truly amazing. I'm blessed, you know, but sometimes you gotta handle some shit and it may not always be fun, but it's part of the job. It comes with the territory. And you just gotta work through that and know that in the end, as long as you keep cleaning the shit up and keep handling the, your shit, life will get better and will bring reward. Um, that can be a metaphor taken in life too. So I try to be positive about everything in life. <sighs> Dang, she's just so beautiful, guys. Let's look at her up close. Just amazing. She is amazing. This is the gross part. If you want an anaconda, be ready for this to possibly spill on you at some point. So, man. Just can't. Oh, jeez. What are you trying to do, dude? See, this is, this is what I was telling you about, guys. He's a pusher. And he was going like a month without food. And, you know, obviously we're not offering it every time i'm down here feeding this guy's you know i'm trying to get him to eat but he just i don't know if he smells the other girl because she refused food and might be ovulating but she's only had og normal so i don't want to breed just him to her because then that's no way to prove her prove her out might as well just let her grow and get a little bit bigger and 
next season start pairing her with the cow or the Montley OG or hogs. Oh yeah. Gotta love this. So now, because my bucket's almost full, I gotta go empty it. I'll let you guys marvel at her for a moment. While I go dump that chip water down our sewer drain. guys I'm back. I do that because my area where I dump it is pretty wet or cold. I don't want to uh, keep that door open from going in and out so when I fill a bucket I dump it which this girl is a full five gallons. So now you are either gonna get a good awesome funny video because I'm gonna dump this on myself or I will be happy and not have to scrub with a Brillo pad so I won't spill this ever on myself for the views <laughs> this is horrible <sighs> yay so now I'll scrub that calcium build up as you can see get it removed Man, it's hot down here. Of course, now I can't find my scrub brush. got a mop over here <laughs> I know some of you are thinking is that how he normally does it no just want to show you what it entails to own one of these massive creatures you know it's not always sunshine and rainbow but better on the floor than on me so now I'll mix up the bedding so it's thoroughly blended but actually I'm probably just gonna pull well I'll do this part tonight I'm gonna pull this tomorrow tonight and replace it with Aspen I don't have a full one right now so and I'll give her a deep clean work is never done just because you're done with the room there's always something you should have done or probably went back and checked on after a while She's just amazing, guys. Let me give you a close-up as we part. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy the video with all its breaks and cuts and glory. This is Big Annie signing us out. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the like button. Let us know. Questions, comments. We'd love to see it, hear from you. Help grow this channel. Share it to your friends.
Peace and love.